It really is pretty amazing. Thank you, Zaccarado, for bringing that. Like that, I don't know why, but for some reason that never occurred to me. Like that just never entered my mind. Like obviously, I could just inc increase my bleed resistance. I thought for sure it would be like it was just a consistent value that you could not affect in any way, shape, or form. It would just always increase your bleed by X amount. That's actually I could probably even do it. I could probably increase it even more by um with the right armor. If I had to guess. Let me see if I can backstab. Like, I want to backstab this guy and one-shot him. That would be fucking amazing. So I gotta be careful and silent. Look at my gargoyle wings, bitch. Yoink. 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 Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Wow, I didn't... <laughs> If I had actually used a strong attack, I might have actually one-shot him just from that. So the problem now is I'm actually going to have to rest. It doesn't really matter now that I can warp back and forth. But I do want to rest here. Just in case. Because we might end up die. Actually, let me see. What do I, do I need my souls for anything right now? No, not really. So I think right now I really want to let me let me just get to 40. Damn it! Fuck it, then I'll do endurance. Oops, I'll do endurance. Get to 40 dexterity, 30 endurance, then I can start worrying about other stuff, extracurricular statistics. Yoink! Shit! I wonder if I I'm gonna kill the dragon. I'm gonna kill the dragon right here. It's gonna happen. Boink. Hello. Wow, he just phased in and out of reality. That's cool. Did I just take damage? Woo! Uh oh, that's a problem. 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 Ooh, that's a very large problem. Oh god, he's doing it again. Come on, man. This isn't fair. This is why I've never actually done this fight before. Jesus Christ, is he doing it again? Oh, never mind, he backed up. Wow, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? That actually didn't do any damage, that's not bad. Oh, what the fuck? That's some nonsense. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that fight. I really don't. It, it really feels like if you don't one-shot the guy, you're done. You got no chance after that. It's just, you're fucked. Rest in peace. Yeah, I have no idea how to fight that guy. And it sucks, too, because there's, like, no reward for it. I think you get 15,000 souls or some shit. And that's it. You're done after that. Like, congratulations. Here's a very minimal amount of souls that you probably do not give a shit about at this stage in the game. Because you're actually strong enough to beat this guy now. Maybe if I equip... I mean, like, you know, maybe if I tailored my equipment to him. So, like, everything fire resistance... Oh, I should go down. Downtown. I can't remember that song. But, yeah, I should go down to the, uh... I should go fight the Hydra. I can do that from this tower. So, like, I'm gonna go through here. All the way back through Taurus Demon World. Get to the Black Knight. Fight the Black Knight. Go down to where Havel is. Fight the Crystal Golems. Kill the Crystal Golems. Get to the Hydra. Kill the Hydra! And then we can rescue Dusk. And get that all ready and raring to go. Actually, because I'll be able to go... Mm, excuse me. Pickups. I'll be able to go straight to the DLC. Right after I turn in the Lord Vessel. So that would definitely be good preparation to do. Hello. Hello. Oh, God. Hello. Nothing else. Nothing else. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna get a backstab on this dude. Actually, you know what? I probably if I, like if I do get a backstab on this guy, and I one shot him. Huh? Boink! Wow. Yeah, that's very strong. Damn it! I have not gotten a Black Knight shield nor a single Black Knight weapon. That is actually 
I don't think I have ever had that poor of luck before when it comes to the Black Knights. I mean, it's kind of just like almost all... I almost always get the Black Knight Sword. Um, I mean, the Black Knight Great Sword. I don't know why, I just almost always get it. The Black Knight Sword, kind of like a 50-50 deal. Black Knight Halberd, I'd say around 25-75 deal. And that's getting it slash not getting it. Um... But yeah, to not have gotten a single thing from any of these guys is... I've never had that happen before. I've never had that poor luck. There's not many Black Knights left either. Yeah, because you even had those two that were in the uh, Northern Undead Asylum. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. This is doing so much damage. That bar is so big too. Oh shit, I need to pay attention. So as not to get bodied by the Hydra? Uh -oh. oh, I got bodied by the Hydra. I'm fairly certain those stupid things actually track. Like, they follow. They will follow you. Until the end of time. So, it's so dumb. Like, it's so stupid that projectiles curve in this game to account for your movements. Like, why can you not just move intelligently to get away from them? Why do you have to make the fucking projectiles move to make them difficult to dodge? That really irks me. Hello. Oh, goodbye. Motherfucker. Shit. Actually, you know what? I probably don't even need to bother trying to two-hand. I bet I can carve the heads off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit over leveled for this part right here. Shit, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure how close I was to the edge, and the last thing I want to do is this fog's kind of in my way. like this that does this much damage and manages to cut the heads off in one hit. Looks like it's going to basically coincide. Like, the moment the heads are gone, I'm going to kill it too. It's got one head left, right? Yep. Yep, yep. Where is it? Yoink. Actually, doesn't he swing this the other direction? Was Didn't that used to be angled to the right before? I feel like that used to be angled to the right, but maybe not. So the reason why I'm doing that shit is because you have to reload the area for the golem that holds Dusk to show up. And so it's better to just do that than to, like, use a homeward bone. Actually, have I rested? I've rested at the undead. Doesn't matter. I can warp now. Who cares where I've rested? I can warp now. I do kind of understand the, uh, the criticisms in Dark Souls 2 about being able to warp wherever you want immediately. But I think I think finding a nice middle ground would have been perfect because like I believe you can warp to every single bonfire that is in. Um, actually, let me equip real quick. I guess let's remove the wolf ring for now. Um, I understand the criticisms. I already said that. I think it would have been nice to find a good middle ground between the two, where like with Dark Souls One, how you it you have to explore the world initially. You have to find your way around first before you can start warping all around everywhere. Shout out to that voice crack. Um, versus Dark Souls 2 where you can go everywhere, but you can go everywhere fucking immediately. Attack! My two shot him. Yep. I'm a little bit strong for this section of the game right now. Hi, so, Dusk. How you doing, girl? Most gracious. I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk. Oh, I'll show you deep. I come up from mm -hmm. long before <laughs> I cannot stay here for long, so before I disappear, allow me to Should ask bother you, going. my home, Ulysseal, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope you know what I'm gonna do? is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. 
Would this be of assistance to the- Oh, absolutely, you beautiful golden lady. I am pleased beyond words. Oh, I'll show you pleased. Engrave my signature. Oh, I'll engrave my signature. Pray summon me from Oh, I'll summon you from my signature. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> it's devolved into nonsense. Oh, I'll show you great flames. Well, specifically, I'll show you great balls of fire. But yeah, I think I'm actually going to go join just for shits and giggles. Just to see what happens. To see if it's still kind of like active at all. I'm going to run through this. I'm going to get through the cats that are up here. Because they should actually, using the life hunt site, I think the cats will just like fold in like two or three hits. Three max. I honestly, I'm calling that right now. Those cats are going to die in three hits. Um, But I'm going to go join the Forest Covenant, just for shits and giggles. And then, I'm not going to do anything right now. I'll just do videos, like, specifically tailored to just doing Forest Covenant stuff if I end up getting summoned with any decent degree of uh, regularity. Because I think the thing is, I believe I'm not 100% on how this works, but I think, basically, you can be summoned... Uh, like, normally there's a limit to what you can be summoned to, so, like, your level, like, 10% above and below your level or something like that, maybe 20, so, just something to that degree, but when it comes to PvP Covenants, I believe you can be summoned to, like, that degree downward, but there's no limit upward, so, like, I could potentially get summoned into some, like, level 300 dude's world, who would obviously body all of my business... But so before I go and do that, we gotta roll through the cats, the kitty cats. I'm gonna get some pussy. Hello. How did that miss? How did that miss? Ow. Oh, bleed? I'm out of endurance now. Yeah, no grab for you. Fuck grabs. Is that a mushroom? What the fuck did that do? Oh god, hello! What the fuck are you targeting the mushroom for? Are you insane? Nope, nope, nope! Nope! Oh, oh, that might be a free hit, free hit, free hit. BAM! Free death, free death, free death. You let me kill him. Oh no. I had no endurance. It's a good thing. Oh shit, he's not dead. I thought for sure that dude was dead. But seriously, where the fuck did that mushroom come from? And why did the game target it before the two giant goddamn cats that were right on top of me? That was some silly shit. Oh no. A lot of damage. A lot of nuts. Why were you stunned for so damn long? Damn it. These dudes are very evasive. Nailed it. Alright, cool. So now they're dead and they stay dead. Fortunately, never gonna have to deal with them again. And now we get to go handle some mushrooms. Because they guard. More stuff that doesn't bleed, unfortunately. I thought for sure those cats bled. I would have sworn that those cats bled, but there's no way they're going to take three hits from the life hunt scythe and not eat some bleeding at that point in time. Hello. Is that the second one? Second one. I think this should kill, actually. Nope, not quite. Almost! Very close. Hello. How are you? So basically, these dudes, I don't actually, it doesn't even matter. There's no point in killing these guys. Never mind. They only give 50 souls. Uh, so as you saw, these guys have a 100% chance to drop at least one. So I think if I attack like this, I should be able to two-shot them. Or two-combo them. Damn! So close. Yes, yeah, so they have a 100% chance of dropping one gold pine resin and then an additional chance to drop a second one. And the smaller ones have a fairly rare chance to just drop a single uh, 
resin, but it occurred to me after I started doing it. Oh, am I overlooking Kitty Cat Land? I'm overlooking Kitty Cat Land. Uh, it occurred to me after I did that that I have no use for gold pine resin at this point. Actually, you know what? I do. Just in case. Like, for when. You motherfucker. Come here. Hey. Hey! Come here. Fuck it. It's not worth it. Um. But yeah, they have a very slim chance to drop gold pine resin. If only there was a bonfire closer by. Oh, you know what would be really cool? Is if you were part of the Forest Covenant, they put a bonfire in this tower. I think that'd be kind of interesting. Kind of cool. Maybe. Possibly. Kind of. Sort of. I don't know if y'all agree. But yeah, this, uh... I think this is actually the only Covenant in the game that has a... Uh, Covenant-specific shop. As you'll see in a second. Hello. Is it not so that thou art new? I'm not new. Thou Your people killed me a couple times earlier, fuckers. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Yes? Well, indeed. <laughs> I, okay, that wasn't really a yes or no question. That wasn't even a question. That was a warning. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I come on. Could you imagine doing that to somebody? You just walk up to them and are like, "Do not go into the back of this area." Yes. Did did you did you did what? That was that was not yes or no. Yes. But do you think she's protecting Sif? And now, Trying to just be like, man, just leave that motherfucker alone. Just leave that poor dude alone. Poor Sif. Yes. Nailed it. And here, taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses... You need to be human. I wonder, I'm, 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 I assume you probably have to be human for it. Will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be mine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own father. Forever stay true. <laughs> not in any attempt to double cross. It's okay, I already killed them once. I don't no need to kill them again. <laughs> such a Never will we tolerate. I'm not actually sure if you can uh ah, that my hopes Cause doing it joining this dude's covenant dude, joining this lady's covenant opens up this guy. And opens up his bodyguard back here. Does he not say anything? And so this guy, if you kill him, drops a ring that you can only get from him, which is called the wood grain ring. And I know it's something that can, add, like, a lot of people actually use quite a bit because it gives you a different roll. It's faster. I'm not sure what the invincibility is on it, if it's comparable, or if there's less invincibility to to account for the less active frames of the roll. But basically, you flip around instead of rolling, and it's a lot faster. So I know, like, a lot of people use that. But it requires you to kill him. Obviously, so I don't know if that counts as a like if you have to betray it, or like eventually he leaves. She, this guy's name is Sheba of the East. There is little in the form of Eventually he leaves. He takes off and he goes down to Blight Town, and then you can start. Uh, he opens up a shop that you can obviously shop at. That's the way we do it. Only don't forget what Avina said. And I'm not sure if you can kill him down in Blight Town without repercussion. That's about it then. Don't worry. Great to have Ah, he is one of always slink you will see what ha. You'll be hunters. You think that's it? Don't Yeah. And then now he should move down to the bottom of Blight Town, which I will get to eventually. 
Uh, that's what I should actually, I should maintain a few extra souls on the side so I can get my, um, my pyromancy glove up to plus 10. Which will also allow me to unlock Quilana. Alright, where are you at? Here, giant plants that want to kill me. Hello. Cool, I one-shot them. Good. Ow! Motherfucker. I don't know where they spawn from, specifically. Like, I know where certain ones of them are, and obviously other ones are, like, that one right there. Golly, I wonder if that's an enemy. That kind of shit, but I don't know, like, where the initial ones come from, because usually... Oh, I, I hear you. I see you. Is there another one? Yes, there was. Look at me being all observant and shit. I'm paying attention. But yeah, usually you come down from... Because uh, that bridge that I crossed to get to the mushrooms... Uh, that path th that is not across the bridge. That comes right here. So you usually come up right here and you're getting swarmed already. So I'm, I never know where those initial two spawn from. But then there are also... At least three more over here. Let me actually see if I can... Oh god, there's four. And they're moving. Because <laughs> I gotta be careful because I don't have any more Estus flasks. Shit. I was hoping I might be able to hit a second one. Looks like everything's gonna be fine. Why am I still recording? Time limits mean nothing to me. But I believe right here, this is the final. This is it. There's nothing else in this forest anymore. So I'm trying to think if there is actually anything else that I want to do real quick or if I am set to go. Because where else can I access around here? Because I don't want to fight Sif yet. I want to fight Sif after I do the DLC. See, so yeah, I'm done. Oh, video! Goddamn!